Hello and welcome to News Up Now. I'm Gleitson Martins. Hey, if you like to cook or if you like if you are like myself, uh, amateur cook, well, most likely you heard you know about Julia Child. Well, this American brilliant woman changed how Americans eat today. So to talk about the new movie, which is hitting theaters now, Julia. Next to me, the directors of the movie, Betsy West and uh, Julie Cohen. Thank you so much for your time. So how was for you to, to get involved in this, such a beautiful project? Because as I was watching, back then footage was what black and white, right? How did you start the movie? Yeah, well, um, you know, Julia Child burst on to American television in 1963 when everything was black and white. But she was teaching Americans how to cook French food at a time when people were just doing frozen food and processed food, and they'd never really seen anything like Julia. They were mesmerized by her, and she became an icon and really did impact our world and the kind of food that we eat. However, the black and white footage doesn't really do justice to the actual food. So one of the great things about doing this documentary was the opportunity to cook Julia's classic recipes in a kitchen, a replica kitchen of Julia Child, and to film them with really high-end, cool food cinematography. There's a part that got my attention is it's a little bit you know, funny in a way that how Americans used to go to the, the grocery, the supermarkets, and get all the frozen food to, to make the dinner. And then all of a sudden you have this woman on TV teaching how to prepare delicious meal. So how was it for you? Yeah, I mean, I think we have to set the table a little bit, as it were, and tell you what things were like in America before Julia Child changed everything um, in terms of how we thought about food. And it was pretty pathetic, frankly. Uh, the food that Americans ate at home was not good. There was a big emphasis on speed and convenience. Frozen TV dinners that were not very appealing. Or for a dinner party, you would serve, as we show in the film, you might serve spam you know, with a, uh, you know, a processed meat-like <laughs> food with some sort of sauce on it. And then a big popular American kind of a sort of a combination of a salad and a dessert was the jello mold, like brightly colored, very unnatural jello, and suspended in it were all kinds of things: marshmallows, vegetables, none of it fresh, none of it for particularly appetizing. What passed for culinary <laughs> delight was kind of disgusting. Yeah, well, yes, sorry, yeah, but it was. So, but, and, and also she opened the door for so many chefs later on, even today, it's, she's still a reference. Oh, absolutely. Um, we were amazed when we interviewed Jose Andres and um, Marcus Samuelson, you know, younger, hip chefs who definitely trace their success to Julia. I mean, she took, as, as uh, Jose says, she took the chef out of the basement, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Chefs yeah, yeah. became, you know, that's, it was used to be that you went to the restaurant, you didn't really think about who was the chef, and everybody was down in the basement, it was all kind of hidden. And chefs did become celebrated, because people began to realize how important food is. And how has been the reactions? Because um, she passed away, I believe, in 2004, is that correct? Right, yeah. And then a couple of years later, there was another movie, Mary Strip. Now you have the documentary, which is about an hour and a half or so, right? right. So how has been the reactions for you? Yeah, so we just started showing the film at festivals around the country, and it's really okay. been fun she to see the reaction from well, longtime well. Julia she Child really fans really and also from some of the younger viewers friend. who may not know Julia's sure story so well. You know, she's mostly you famous you in this country um, through so the impersonation that Dan Aykroyd did of her on Saturday Night Live, which is hilarious like a little bit silly and certainly um, 
doesn't give a full sense of really how important this woman was to changing our whole culture. So starting to feel Julia Child get the recognition, get the recognition we feel she deserves, I think is, uh, has been exciting for us. Yeah, and I think people are also surprised by Julia's story that it took her a while, you know, and that she really didn't achieve success until she was in middle age. So that was really fun for us, figuring out Julia's journey to becoming this food icon. I mean, how did Julia become Julia? And, you know, it's a romantic story, and it's a story of persistence, and uh, there's a love. and love. There's a great love story in there, which we uh, really had a lot of fun uncovering and um, e exploring visually uh, in the so film. Give me a sense. You know, I my background it's not in movie. Give me a sense of what goes behind a documentary with that amplitude. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into a documentary. We have a small team, the two of us as directors, and about four or five other people that are kind of working uh, full time on the project. And uh, there's a lot of research, figuring out what elements of the story that you want to tell, figuring out who you want to interview. And we traveled around the country, and in this case, a little bit around the world, too, to interview different people for the film. And then there's just a massive amount of archival research trying to figure out what's the best footage, what's the best, you know, in the case of Julia, there's this incredible archive of both personal letters and also very intimate still photography, many pictures, kind of loving pictures taken by Julia's husband, Paul, who was a great, 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 great photographer. Um, you know, it's a lot of material and you are trying to find a story. A, a narrative in it, like, almost like a narrative film. You know, it's a true story, everything is true. Um, our approach was to, as much as possible, try to use Julia's voice. We were very lucky that we have all these yes. incredible, fantastic French chef videos, but also a lot of interviews that Julia did over the years. Dreams for what her life might be. She was really pining for adventure. I did want to be a spy, and I thought I'd be a very good one. She never looked back. As soon as I got into France and realized what it was all about, one taste of that food, and I never got over it. I decided that I would enroll in the Cordon Bleu. Cooking was a world of men. Women were basically part of the window dressing. You certainly didn't see them teaching. I'm Julia Child. Welcome to the French Chef. She changed everything. What is your favorite recipe from Julia? I mean, do you cook? We cook. We both, both like it. <laughs> fingers, yes. Okay. We like it, yeah. I mean, uh, I just made beef bourguignon, which is, you know, it's just a classic. It's so yummy, and, you know, my husband and I really enjoyed it, and then I had it for lunch a couple of days uh -huh. afterward. It was really good, and I didn't get tired of it. And then we have a favorite. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love the salad niçoise. We show it at the end of the film. It's a simple recipe, but there's really nothing more delicious and like very visually appealing. I mean, we put it in the film because it had so many different colors in it, but just watching it get prepared reminded us how uh, delicious it is, and we both started putting it on our regular rotation. There's one another scene I know we need to, to wrap, but um, she's cooking some, I think, a, a meat. I don't know if it was a beef. Yeah. yeah. It was black and white, and then you dissolve. <laughs> and then there is the color. Yeah. It was like, wow, that makes me hungry now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, that, there is a warning. Yeah. We were giving exactly. people a warning. Please don't, don't go hungry yeah. or just have your dinner reservation ready. And any other film festivals coming up soon? Well, it's been in a number of festivals uh, in Telluride in Toronto. And the Julia will be opening in New York and Los Angeles on November 12th. And then it will be opening in San Francisco and other cities the following weekend, uh, November 19th. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And congratulations on the movie. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. Hopefully next time you're in San Francisco, you can come to the studio. Maybe you can cook something from Julia Child. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put you in your spot, sorry. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know at tips at newsupnow.org. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.